Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. It's one of those days today where I just had to get out the house. There's a million and one things I could be doing, but they're not what I want to be doing. I just chucked this crease t-shirt on, pair of shorts. I'm just heading towards Jackson's Bay right now. And it is a beautiful day, really is. The sun is shining, the beautiful blue skies. The tide is in, almost in, and we're just gonna go for a wander. Over this cliff in front of us is Jackson's Bay. And as you can see, the tide is, uh, yeah, it's quite high. You can't normally see that view there, but they've trimmed all this back, which is good. Ah, let's keep going. Jackson's Bay. I love it. Ah, oh, the women's toilets are closed. Closed due to flooded drains. Sorry for any inconvenience. Let's just hope they get that sorted by the weekend. I've got a feeling it's going to be busy. Oh, this is what it's all about, isn't it? Do you know what? I'm a very lucky man to live the life I live. I really do believe that. Jackson's Bay. It should say on there, please come and live the dream, but keep the beach clean. That's what it should say. Oh, do you know what? Let's just stand by here a minute. Oh, listen to that water. The waves just crashing against the rocks, folding over onto the sand. Wow. It's pretty lush, isn't it? See, now this is how a beach should be. The only thing that should be left is footprints and slash. You've still got all this debris here where they've cleared the rocks. I don't know, I think they should have uh, cleared that really. It's not very good, is it? I suppose it keeps people from going under the rocks. <sighs> Beautiful. I love it. Just looking up at the coast guards there, right? And it's a bit misty out there today. So you can't really see right across. Yeah. You can see that way. You can't see that way. Oh, what a difference it is here to London. Notice nobody's in a rush. Everyone's just taking a leisurely stroll. I know, it's really nice. I do understand that not everybody's in a position to be able to do that, but I don't know, this is lush. I love it. This is what most people see when they come to Barry Island. Lush, isn't it? I love it, man. This coffee shop apparently is open now. I can see the shutter up actually. But it's not a very nice looking thing, is it? They need to do something with that. It's, I don't know, it's kind of ruined the view. I used to love taking photographs when the sprinklers are on, yeah? You know, across to the island, and now you've got this big tangerine in the way. Yeah, this is it. Looks like they do bread rolls and crisps and stuff like that. That's tidy, it's nice. It's just not the best colour. This penguin, something to him. He's not down, is he? What's going on with that? He's a bit wobbly. I think he's had a drink. Ah, beautiful, isn't it? People taking some photos there. The rock pools. Yeah. The beach is looking very wet, isn't it? It's like it's got a like a hollowed out area there. Well, there's one of the beach huts that open. See how the sand is back there now? At one point we had like a, I don't know, it was like a almost two foot drop, wasn't it? From the concrete to the sand. And it's all back level again now. Nature's a crazy, wonderful thing. It's really busy for a Thursday though, isn't it? Makes you wonder what it's gonna be like on the weekend, doesn't it? Looking at Bay 5 here now, and you know, there's remnants of the nasty weather, look, sandbags. It's not always like this, guys. I can't get over how busy it is. You know, it's a school day. Sun shining. And it's Thursday. Yeah, I mean, there's some Saturdays it's not as busy as this. Well, obviously it is when the sun's out. Busy up this end as well. Even busier on the beach. Yes. Living a dream, mate. Living a dream. It is gorgeous here, though. Really nice. Really, really nice, you know? I'm actually even warm in a shorts and t-shirt today, which is, I don't know, refreshing. There's barely a breeze. That's really nice. You can tell it's dinner time. Cue for O'Shea's. And that takes me back to people sat in front of the wall. Yeah, don't quite want to get their sandy shoes. 
Right, they're living it. Something I noticed when we came for a walk last night. This is all switched up. But it's just the taxis. Well, you won't. I, I bet you won't see a taxi there. You won't see a taxi there. You won't. It wouldn't be so bad if they just prioritised it for taxis. So, go on, busy times, but oh, someone could be charging there now, you know? Oh, this just don't make any sense. I wonder why we got the police here. What's their intention? I can't see them anywhere. Here they are, look. I don't know what they're doing. Chatting to some lady. I don't know whether someone has stolen their wheel or, or what, but. So it's up on it's up on blocks, mate. I was gonna give the fair a miss today, but I just can't. Well, I'm guessing these jets are gonna be moved because there's no way through there, is there? Yeah, I reckon that's what they're gonna do, mate. It's not looking good, yeah. The only thing I can see this change is the trampolines are set up, but that's about it. Just one top scan, and he just opened all this up there. Very inviting, isn't it? For some of you, anyway. Yeah, seats could do with a bit of TLC, can they? I don't know why you can do with foam rubber seats. I don't know. But again, there, guys, you know, it's, it's a lot better than what it was when they bought it. How long they had it? It's only a season, I think, and it's been here. Had he's owned it. Yeah, and he spent a lot of money on it. So I reckon the end of next season, they'll be. Uh, Spending a bit more on it, getting it looking lush and brand new. They just dug out these huge speakers here and they're just testing them, wiring them in to see if they work. They're beasts, aren't they? Have a look under the top scan, look. Yeah. It's mad, isn't it? Look at it. I mean, a shame you can't turn this into some sort of like little seating area, is not it? So there's the ram, look at that. Heavy old thing that was, wasn't it? It's looking good here, guys. It's looking really good. See, I always take you to places. No one else takes you, don't I? But I tell you what, it's looking brilliant here today. It looks ready to open, you know? Apart from a couple of speakers by here. But it's all looking good, man. It's looking really nice. Another thing, like I pointed out before about the, um, how much more level the the top scan is where they don't need the they don't need the decking now on the front that's much better that is we've just been doing some work on the uh, wall cellar it's nice and smooth looking good i tell you what i bet i'll take some practice walking around there spinning the cars they're going nice mate spinning tidy look at that that's cool that is is this wall so they no youngster mind just running the tests on orbiter just running the tests on the on the roller coaster there running a the test on disco fever there and back again see the uh, new sign up there paying the car obviously you can't see it's not lit up but yeah, that's what it says. Top of the park's looking good, spotlessly clean. Yeah, it's ready to open, mate, today. It's nice. We are just in time to see Jurassic Park pumping up. Oh, look at that. The dinosaurs coming back to life. Hello, Monsignore. That's cool. I don't know what's going on with Rumba and Teddy T's. They spent so much time and money and it's just been closed. I don't get it. Let's have a look through the window. Yeah, it's all, it all looks ready to go, doesn't it? You'd think it just closed yesterday and they'd be waiting to open t today, but no, I don't know. They haven't opened for weeks and weeks. It's quite mad though, isn't it? How they can invest so much money and it just be standing around for a long time. I know COVID's had a lot to do with that. You'd think that something would be open here now just to recoup a bit of money. I mean, when you look how busy these calves are here, there's plenty of people about to warrant opening, I think. What's going on on uh, Sloppy Joe's? Painting or repairing the roof? Like even pigeons <laughs> enjoy the arcades. Uh, there's just two of them. Just wandering around. Look, honestly, you'd think they were down for the day, wouldn't you? 
Look at that. Oh, where should I put my two peas? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Nice to see that fence has been repaired. That was knocked down, wasn't it, last time we looked? Yeah. There's uh, not many people coming on at this particular moment in time. One car at that light, one car at that light. A couple of cyclists. Yes, uh, but it's busier. Okay, let's go and have a little wander somewhere else. Let's head this way. Let's have a look at how the bike repair system is keeping up. Yeah, looking good. Still there. Uh, still here. Let's put them inside there. Uh, keep the weather off them. Well, not that it's raining at the moment. Someone's put a reflector on there, look. They whipped it off their bike, so I don't want that on my bike. Leave it on there. Hi. Well, that is a good idea. I do like that. As you've probably noticed by now, I've no plans. I had no plan, I just come out the house and thought, let's just go for a wander. Sometimes I do that and I don't vlog. Quite often we'll do that. But I thought today, it's a lovely day. Let me take you with me. And this brings us onto the waterfront. In case you weren't aware of that. What's this then? What's going on here? What is this place then? Looks like someone broke into here for some reason. There's nothing in here. Let's go inside. Like a big, I don't know, trough thing here. Was it a toilet maybe at some point? There was a window there. I don't know. What? Sound a bit weird, isn't it? Anything in the box? No, it's empty. Come on, let's get out. Anyone watching this, right? As you can see, that was open when I got you. I didn't break in, I just took you for a nose. But look at this car park here, guys, right? Now, it's, it's literally uh, the other car park we were in. The old harbour car park is just the other side of that bridge, right? So we've just come through here. And this car park used to be the overflow car park and the old trains used to be over in this area over there, right? So this is this is a massive car park. You know, a few hundred cars will fit here and yet it's never open. Now to me, this would solve so many problems if this was the main car park that they opened first. Because although it's not the closest car park to Barry Island, it would keep all the traffic off Barry Island. So people coming in, direct them in here, into this. This takes all the traffic away from Barry Island because it literally has only taken me a couple of minutes. Because I came the other side of that bridge and I came down the steps. I don't know why this isn't used more regular. It's kind of, they still kept it as like an overflow car park when I think if this was prioritized as one of the main car parks, then you would stop a lot of traffic and congestion on the island. Because people don't need to go onto the island with their cars. They can park here on the waterfront and literally just walk through there. Or you can walk up that way as well. Ambulance. And let's face it, at the end of the day, when you've finished your day visit to Barry Island, you know, you've got a little bit further to walk to your car, but far less traffic queuing to leave. That just makes perfect sense to me. Especially because disabled car parking is the main priority now on Barry Island seafront. All the parking, which used to be uh, two hours slots, they've all changed, along the seafront I mean, they've all changed the disabled parking. So the disabled people can park there and the more able people can park here. I don't know why the council don't, don't think of that. I mean, what they did do was over by the dock offices, they put a uh, park and ride car park. Uh, it's a big car park. I went up there the other day, I don't think I showed you, but I went up there the other day, completely empty. There's grass growing up through the tarmac and that, right? like it's never been used. But the biggest problem with that is, if you drove your car to that car park and then wanted to get on the train, you've seen what the trains are like here in the summer, you'd never get a seat, you'd never be able to get on the train because by that time the train is full, all three carriages that they put on, and, and yet they've got this car park here, which is barely ever used. Oh, there's that ambulance. Obviously, all of this used to be car park right up, right up to the other end. That used to be car park in space, right? Let's have a look. See, look, behind all these houses. 
as far as your eye can see there, right? That was all car park space and where the houses are. But obviously they've built on a lot of this car park. I, I don't know, it's like it's just been forgotten. And yet, to me, it's the most sensible thing to do, to direct people to this car park to keep the traffic off Barry Island or minimise the traffic to Barry Island. The star flyer going up. You can see it all from here, mate. The train just leaving. But looking at the star flyer then, see how close we are? So close. What's this guy doing here then? Taking pictures of the play area. What's that all about? What's he doing, mate? Oh, my shoe. What the heck is that? It's dangerous. There's plenty of cars traveling along here. Busy, busy. Just gonna pop in as to them and then I'll tell you what I did like about London. You don't have to wear masks anymore. They are annoying. And breathe. I just bumped into the handsomest boy in the world. Hello babe, say hello to YouTube. Hello YouTube. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's growing up far too fast. Far too fast for my liking. Look, he's talking and walking. Yeah, we're gonna get you chips now, babes. Ta. He said ta. He said ta. <laughs> he's so big, he's dancing and everything. He's living a dream. <laughs> he had a smile on his face, he must enjoy tantrums. What are you doing up there, big boy? Bashing your daddy on the head? God, he's good, isn't he? See, <laughs> he's running now. He wants to go on a climbing wall, I can see. He's staring at it. Come on, mate, let's get you on that wall. Go on, babes. She was a scooter girl. Sorry? You don't want to be on the scooter? She don't want to be on the scooter. Kai gave it to her. Forced. Guys, I don't know whether you can see this thing. Look at it. What's that? It's not a drone. It's some sort of like, it's like a jet. I don't know. There, see it now? See it? Yeah, he's going in low, that's. Oh, I want one of those. Well, I think it's changed. Yeah, I've got to go at some point. It's that guy up there. It's him. That's cool, though. Look at that for a sunset. That's wicked, isn't it? <sighs> Beautiful. I'm going to end the vlog now. My phone's just about to die. Guys, we got to go now. Phone's about to die. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't get lost to squash. Then we'll speak more soon. Bye. Oh, ah. Ow, my toe. Oh, oh.